Basically, it could probably run for maybe two to four hours without needing to be charged again if you absolutely had to. We are very lucky in that our spot at the Museum of Science has its own charging dock. So if you've ever gone over to that exhibit and spot isn't up and moving, it's probably sitting on its charging dock, essentially taking the robot equivalent of a nap. We always make sure to replace the battery when we are putting spot back just so it has uh, the best battery life possible about 90 minutes, a little over that, is Spot's maximum running time. Okay, we have two more questions. Two more. Okay, so one of them is, is Spot related to Big Dog and Big Little Dog? Ooh, that's a really good question. So Big Dog was sort of an original model that Boston Dynamics created, sort of like a pre-prototype, pre-version of Spot, uh, and they very quickly realized that it was not gonna work for something like spot that they needed to have uh, serve sort of an everyday function in places like airports or even in museums at night when there was no one around. Uh, Big Dog had a really, really big essentially car engine for a motor and made quite a lot of noise. It was very, very, very heavy duty and very difficult to run. Boston Dynamics needed something that was a lot more small and agile. When they were also funded by DARPA. They were funded by the Department of Defense. Now Boston Dynamics has its own funding, its own private funding, and so they've created a very different robot from its precursor, Big Dog. We have one last question. 